Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Garage. So on today's episode, we are going to be painting the golf cart here. So first thing we got to do and what this video is about is how to remove the body. So let me jump in. Okay, so the first thing that needs to be done is I need to get the top of this off. And there's going to be on my cart, it might be different on others, but there's eight bolts. Two over here, two over there, and then two in the back, and two over here. These are on mine, they are 7 16 inch nuts and bolts. So I'm just gonna take my impact and get this off. The next thing that I'm gonna do here is get this uh, windscreen off here. It's these plastic clips. They just unclip and this whole windscreen comes off. So let me get that off. So when you're doing stuff like this, pro tip is to get yourself a little Ziploc baggie and zip top bat whatever and label label it so like this is going to be the bolts for the top i'm going to put them in there and i'll get a bag for the bolts for the other stuff so if you keep your stuff labeled and organized you're not going to be sitting there scratching your head later wondering where the stuff goes so the next thing i need to do is i need to get this uh frame here for the windshield and top the holder off these are half inch bolts here Okay, these were four bolts, two here, two over there. Like I said, they were half inch. These ones here have nuts. These two up here actually go down into the frame. Let me just remove this here. And then underneath on here, there was these plastic pieces. So just put these in the bolt bag so you don't lose them. That'll keep your, yeah, because they just go in kind of like a washer. So in the golf cart itself, there's going to be like four screws. There's going to be one here, up here. It's hard to see. Sorry. One there. One on the other side of the dash up over here. And then one down over here as well. Um, you could use a flathead or a um, wrench or ratchet to get those. I'm going to use a flathead, but we're going to remove those four. So there actually ended up being six. There's two on each side here, two up there, and the two on each side down there. Then this piece right here should just lift right off. You could remove this. Next thing we need to do is we need to come into the front of here. There's going to be two Phillips bolts, but on the back side of them, it has a half inch. Um, I'm going to use my ratchet. I'm just going to feel back here put the half inch on the, the head and then I'm just going to take my screwdriver and unscrew these so now on my cart it's missing one but it's got two plastic clips in there you're going to take a flathead screwdriver and there's a spot to pry I'm just going to go in and Slowly pry up, pull this middle piece out, and then this bottom piece right here will slide out as well. And the way it goes together is like that. So you got to take this little piece out of here first, and then the bottom piece will come out. So it'll have two of those. Okay, so I think that now that everything is taken out this should be able to slide out it's going to get caught up on these lights so you will have to disconnect the lights but this is going to come down and then there's just clips holding the lights in so you're just going to undo these clips and 
going to do that on both sides. There we go. And the front is now removed. Now for the rear, um, each cart will be different, and it's all going to depend on which uh, seats and everything that you have. But for me, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this seat here. There's a eight millimeter, there's four little eight millimeter bolts underneath, and I'm just going to get those removed here. So the next thing I'm going to do is there's actually four bolts. There's going to be one here, one here, one here, and one here. That's going to take this footrest off here. So I'm going to get that um, off here. So on the back of the cart here, there's going to be a screw of Phillips here, and a Phillips here, and that's going to remove this access panel. So I'm going to take these out. One of my Phillips is missing, so I'm only going to take this one out. And then this just slides right off, and that will give you access to everything. The next thing I'm going to do, which is going to be hard to film, is there's a bolt and nut here, and then over on the other side there's a bolt and nut there. So is what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use a ratchet and a wrench, wrench on the bottom on the nut, ratchet on the top, and then those will come out. I'm not going to record it like I said because it's going to be very hard to see in there. So I will be back once they're loose. So now that I got those two bolts out, it's going to be just as easy as grabbing this here, lifting, and remove it. Okay, so we're moving around to the front of the back seat here, and then there's going to be, let me zoom in, four bolts. There's going to be two over here and two over there. Those are half inch. Um, I don't know if I said it or not, but the other size um, bolts that were in the back are 9 sixteenths. So... Now that those four bolts are out, you can just come over here and just grab this whole thing and take it off. So my golf cart is actually modified, but the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to remove this charging port. Um, I have mine wired up where the red and the black actually go directly to this battery. And I have a lithium charger that plugs into the original port. Um, I'll drop a link down in the description on the charger that I have for my lithium battery, or my lithium battery, and then the, um, so you're going to disconnect these, but in the front there's going to be some Phillips screws, you would take those off, and then this would pull out. Then you're going to notice this on mine, this goes to the tow run switch, you're just going to push this in and remove that. And then on the front of my cart here, there's going to be two torque spit screws and I got to take them out and then I'll unplug the board neutral reverse switch. Like I said the front of this here this FNR switch it's got two torque spits these are T25 and then these just come out there's one here's two And just what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull these off, these leads off. There's three of them. Just make note of where they go. And then we can push them in. I do need to mention, before you do any electrical on your golf cart, please make sure that your golf cart's in the tow position and that your batteries are unplugged. Um, you don't want to mess anything up, and it's just super cheap insurance. Um, 
yeah, so that's all I'm really going to say. So moving on, though, um, there's going to be two bolts up front here. There's going to be one right here and one on the other side. On the bottom of that, there's another bolt way down there. And the back of those nuts, those are 7 16 And if you come on the front of the cart here, it's going to be right here. And they are Phillips. So the best thing to do is, um, I got lucky. Mine were not corroded in, and they come out. But just work at them to get them out. And if they're really corroded, hopefully you'll just snap them off, and you can just buy new ones and get them replaced. So let me get those out. Okay, so now we're moving on to the back here. And you're going to want to get yourself one of these. Um, I've had this forever. This is my snap-on. You could actually get them for... You can get plastic ones, the auto parts stores for a couple bucks or at Harbor Freight. You get a set of these for pretty cheap. Um, but you're going to need these because we got to pry up all these body clips that go around the tub in the back here. So let me get doing that. Okay, so once all those are out, you could just take this plastic piece right off. There's going to be two more screws, two more Phillips screws, one right here and one right here. And I believe the bottoms of them, again, are the 7 sixteenths, which, yep, these ones are. So you'll just remove these. So now that all those out, you're going to notice that the body is pretty much free. So lift up, you can take it off. So we're going to have to disconnect the lights here. I'm just going to go down. It's just literally some connectors and unplug them. And then this will just lift off. So let me get the lights unplugged and then we'll lift this off. Okay, so now that everything's disconnected, I'm literally just going to grab the frame here or the body here and just lift it up and off. All right, here we go. This is what it's looking like with the body off. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and get this washed. Um, I will be replacing the lights because I'm having issues with them and I would like some LED lights on here. I have some, so I want to get those replaced. Um, main thing is just get everything washed. While it's in this stage right here, I'll probably make a video also on how to do the alignment. I know I've had a couple people ask me um, send me emails and also comment have i done the alignment yet no i haven't um that should be coming up soon um i want to get this painted right here i'm going to do it black i got like a truck bed liner that i'm going to be doing on that this frame for the windshield i want to paint that black as well and then the front cowl and the rear cowl i'm going to paint those also i'll be doing some body work on those just some real minor body work and just kind of making it mine and custom so that's what she is looking like. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you could do me a favor and hit that thumbs up, that would be great. Also, I noticed like 90% of the people who view my videos do not subscribe. So if you could do me a favor and just subscribe to this channel if you learned anything or enjoyed this, that would be great. Um, and if you have somebody who has a golf cart, also share it with your uh, friends with the golf cart. So maybe they'll learn something as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll check you all next time. Peace.